Drawing with Naomi. Today we're going to draw a few different things. I'm going to show you some tips and techniques so that you will be able to get some objects or some ideas that are special to you and then be able to draw them yourself. So what we'll do is we'll start off quite simply, slowly breaking things down into shapes, then we'll move into things that are more complex. So for the drawing today we're going to start with drawing a little dragon egg. You can draw your own egg or a simple shape yourself, it's up to you. We're then going to move on to something a bit more complicated, a little selenite crystal. And finally, we're going to move on to something that's a bit more complicated with this bow truckle. But don't worry, I'll be there to show you every step of the way how to work and how to get these drawings to look the way you want them to. Okay, so you can see now I've got my materials table set up. I'm just going to go through with you what we've got here. So I've got some paper. This is just ordinary printing paper. This is fine for drawing and sketching on. If you did have a visual diary, the paper in the visual diaries is a little bit thicker. It's got a little bit more texture to it. Um, so that's really nice for drawing and getting some of those shading effects. We've got lots of different types of grey lead pencils. So these are different hardnesses. HB means hard black. We've got that. We've got 2B which is a bit darker and 4B which is a bit darker again. So the darker pencils are really good for shading. The lighter ones you want to use to draw your outlines. So any different grey lead pencils that you've got will be great. I've got some coloured pencils. Some of these are just um, normal colouring pencils and then I've also got a few watercolour pencils. I don't know if you've ever used those before but they're really lovely to work with. You can draw with them and then add a little bit of water with a brush and it almost makes the pencil go a bit like paint. I'll show you that later on. I've got erasers. I have also got my big mechanical sharpener which is great. Any sharpener is fine. I've got a little pack of glitter pens, um, nice for adding a bit of detail. Also these little fine markers can be really good just for doing tiny, tiny detailed bits and we've got some thicker markers as well. The other thing I'd like you to go and get now as well with your materials is something that you'd like to draw that's quite a simple shape. I'm going to start my drawing with this dragon's egg. So you can see it's just a simple shape but it has got a little bit of detail on it. So what we'll do now is pause the video, go and get your materials and your drawing area set up and I'll see you back here in a moment. Okay we're just going to start by doing a quick little sketch of the dragon's egg now. I'm just going to do this in pencil to start with just to show you some shapes and shading tricks. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is just get the shape outlined. Now, you can be as messy with the shape as you like. It doesn't have to be the perfect shape to start off with. You think of it as kind of like carving. Just make a few lines, see where you're happy with. You can always rub them out, neaten that edge up there. We're getting a shape happening. Come back in, make it dark around the edges. I want to come in and get a darker pencil. I really want it to have some depth. You can use a pencil, see how I'm sort of using this pencil on the side as well to get a wider line. Lighter in the middle. darker towards the edges. You can make it go around in circles. We need to get a bit of extra texture. It's a bit lighter at the top. Okay, now let's come and rub this out. Can we make that edge Nice and neat. Coming back to my 2B now. Dark around the edges again. You can see how that's 
getting darker there. Coming for a darker pencil now. This is a 4B, which is a bit darker again. Just want to make it a bit darker down the bottom. More like an egg shape. You can, with pencil, you can build up and build up and build up, and it's quite nice to make things um, multi layered with pencils. You start off with light layers and then build them up until they get darker and darker. You can see now we're looking a bit more three dimensional. So we've got a basic three-dimensional shape happening now, which is really nice. So now it's time to come in and put in some of these details. We've got some quite crazy shapes here. You see lots of patterns. Now these don't have to be exact. We can look at them. They're sort of blobs and there's patterns, there's lumps. Put those in, shade around them a bit. Just putting a bit of dark grey now, watercolour pencil on top. I'm just going to make some shapes in this that are a little bit reminiscent of what's in the dragon's egg. So I'm just making some circles, some patches that are darker than others. Oh, my table's a bit wobbly there. Marks across here. Little brush and just go around these details here. So this is the watercolor pencil you can see. And make this lovely texture. Pattern and then fill those little bits in. You can see how it's still lighter in the center. You can see here for the dragon's egg the way that I've given it some depth is to make it darker around the edges, lighter in the center and then add some pattern and detail We've only used a couple of different materials here, a grey lead pencil, a watercolour pencil and a fine brush with a little bit of water. I hope you've enjoyed that and we'll move on to something a little more complex next. I'm going to move on to something that's a little bit trickier now. I've got this lovely crystal which you can see, if you look at it carefully, it's made up of a few different shapes. So I can see there's a cylinder around here and there's also a sort of triangle on top. So what we're gonna do is start looking at that. It's always the way to start, break down the shapes that you're dealing with, and then we'll come in and put in the detail again. So I'm putting in my cylinder, just really roughly to start with. I'm going to put a triangle shape on top. Get these. We've got this little tower up the top. You can see little lines and go down to this triangle part. Slightly rounded. And then you can see we've got a couple of little steps up to this triangle section. 
Now if I'm looking carefully, I can see there's a couple of lines going across the cylinder down the bottom. Another one. And as we start getting up to the top, there's sort of a little ledge here. It's almost like steps going up here. And then we've got some lines again across. There we go. It's starting to look like some nice shapes now. Okay. So we've got the basic shape, we've got the cylinder, the triangle on top, and then we've got these little stepped sections. So what I'm going to do now is come in and do some shading. So I'm just putting some darker areas around the bottom where those little steps start. I'm just redefining there, doing some more outlines. So there we go, I've got the shadows. Again, there's another line across here, another line there, okay, a bit more shadow, and then again, we've got another step here, Go. Okay, we're getting down to the cylinder shape now, so it should be a bit more straightforward shortly. Just got to get this detail in first. Okay, so looking now, we've got a bit more reflection. The surface a bit is a bit more even down the bottom. So it's not quite as dark as all those stepped areas up the top. So I'm just draw some lines. Nice longer lines down here. More lines here. We'll come back and work into these little stepped areas in a moment. I'm going to come in with a darker pencil now and look at these outlines again. So I'm going to make it darker around the edges. using my razor now to bring back some of these lines, make it a little bit lighter in the center. Okay, I'm just doing some finishing touches now to my little drawing. I used a little bit of a gray watercolor pencil before, just to add a bit of detail. So now I'm going in and just adding a little bit of water on top. So it gives a bit of depth to the crystal, a bit of shadow. See those nice tones there, really bringing it to life.
going to come in now and add a little bit more of this thicker pencil at the top. Get a bit more shade. Wow, that went dark. A little bit more dark along here flicking the brush up a bit I'll put a little bit more down this edge I'm going to put just a tiny bit. And there we go. That's looking pretty nice now. You could, you know, I could keep working on that for quite a while, but I think it's time to stop now and move on to something with some colour. We're going to move on to something a little bit trickier now. Here's a drawing I did earlier of a bow truckle and here's the model that I made that drawing from. So again like I've been saying the most important way to start is always by looking at the object and breaking it down into shapes. So if you look at this little creature you can see we've got a cylinder here and then we've basically just got some lines where his hands, legs, arms are and two leaf shapes up the top of his head. So we'll give that a start doing an outline first and then I'll come back in and show you how to shade it, make him look a bit more three-dimensional. All right, here we go, I'm about to start. So let's see, we'll have a kind of cylinder. I'm just starting with a gray pencil down the center. Looking at the little picket here. We've got an arm coming out here Another one there. This is just rough for now. We'll come back and fix in these details. And his legs are sort of about here. Now up the top, he's got two leaf shapes. Can you look at the outside of that shape? See the way that goes? We'll add in that little shadow there. Just really rough. His eyes are around about here. And he's got sort of cheeks that come out like that. Alright, I'm going to pop him down now somewhere I can see him and we'll go back in, make him a bit thinner. His body's actually not quite that long so I'm going to pop his legs up there a bit. There we go, another one around there. Okay. His hand up like that. There we go. Got a very rough shape. Okay, now <clears throat> let's tidy up those little leaf ears. And the chin. Arms, and he's got two fingers that come down here, and three fingers off this hand. It's got a little knee there, funny little foot with one toe. Okay, I'm going to come in with a green marker now to block out his shape. So this is just a nice bright green. There's a bit of space around his eyes.
So he's all blocked in now, background colour's done. So what I'm doing now is a bit of an outline in a really dark green colour, which will just give the shape again a bit more depth and gives us a bit of an outline. So you can see I'm just working in there now. He's also got black, very dark eyes. So I'll pop those in. Making it darker around the places where the joints are. Then a bit of detail in the leaf there. Put a little leaf pattern in his ears. And you can go around the whole body and do this. So you can see now I've been around and outlined in all the darker greeny grey and how much more depth that already has. So what I'm going to do now is add in a little bit more pattern on his ears, just quickly like that. I'm going to put a bit more of a darker green around his mouth to accentuate his lovely little frown. Those little twiggy marks along the arms. So this green is just a bit darker than the base green I've used and then we've got the dark greeny grey around the edges. So we've just got three colours so far and you can, this is the effect that you can get. Let me just mark that. There we go. Put a bit more detail on his fingers because they are quite pointy. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is just touch up a little bit of that grey watercolour pencil that I was using. Just get rid of some of those marks, make it a bit more shady. There we go. And you can always come back in and add a bit more detail. See this is wet now, but afterwards you might like to come in and add some of those lines on top of his leafy ears. There we go, you can see the pencil there is blending in with the marker, changing the colours a little bit. And there we are, there's our bow truckle. So for this drawing I only used three colours. I had a bright sharpie for the background, I had a darker green marker, for some little highlights and lines and then I had a dark grey green watercolour pencil just for doing the outlines and a little bit of shading that was all I used. And so you can see even with just a few tools how you can make a drawing that looks reasonably realistic. <laughs>